Welcome to Electron Line. In the next video, we're going to learn how to actually calculate the exact position of the principal points in the principal planes. Here in this video, we're simply going to try to give you a feel for about where they will appear. In the case of a biconvex lens here, the principal points are about equal distance away from the center of the lens, and if the the curvatures on both sides of the lens are identical, then of course the distance to both of these points will be identical and they'll be symmetrical about the center of the lens. However, if the curvatures are not symmetrical, like in this case where I have a flat side on one side and we have a convex side on the other lens, the principal planes will move towards the curvature where the curvature is the greatest. And in this case, where both the front and the back side of the lens have curvature, you can see that the principal planes can actually move outside the location of the lens. In the case of a negative meniscus lens, notice that since the curvature is fairly large here, that both principal planes can be on the other side of the lens, again, outside the location where the lens actually is. On the plano concave lens, since one side is straight, the other side is curved, is concave, they want to be quite as far out. If both sides are curved, then of course the principal planes will move farther out. In the case of a biconcave lens, just like in a biconvex lens, there will be a lot of symmetry if both curvatures on both sides of the lens are equal to one another. So you can see that the principal planes and the principal points don't necessarily have to be inside the lens depending upon the actual structure of the lens itself. In the next video, we're going to show you the equations to use to actually find the exact locations of those principal points and principal planes.